contributing capital. We're going to talk about stock options. Stock options are kind of nice. Um, that's where you work for a business uh, and you have the right to buy stock at a certain price. And you have this right for a certain period of time and then the stock option lapses or expires. So when you go to work for a business, whether uh, and some businesses only give this to their um, officers of their business, some businesses give it to all employees, the right to have stock options. And in this case, there's a couple of uh, numbers that you've got to be aware of. First off, when you buy stock, that stock may have a par value. So in this um, example, and we're going to be doing uh, exercise four, short exercise four, it says that this stock has a par value of a dollar. The option price is eight dollars. In other words, I have this option to buy a share of stock for eight dollars, regardless of what the stock market is doing. It also tells me that the market price on the grant date, in other words, when I earned or acquired this option, uh, the market price of the stock at that time was $8. So notice that the option price and the grant date price are the same. The third thing is, is when we get around to exercising our option, in other words, buying the stock for $8 a share, notice that the exercise date, the stock market was $36. So basically I'm buying stock for 8 everybody else in the world is buying that stock for 36 and do I immediately have a capital gain? You gotcha. So what we're going to do here is look at short exercise 4 and see what journal entries would be involved. And in short exercise 4, it says on June 6th, which is the exercise date, this individual exercises her option to purchase 20,000 shares of stock, which is par value of a dollar, at the option price of $8. So we need to look at what is the entry when she gives the company cash to buy the stock. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to debit cash. And how much cash? Well, she's purchasing 20,000 shares of stock, correct? And she's paying $8 a share. So the amount of cash that we are going to receive is um, $160,000, if I did my math right. Now, what is the corporation giving up? Well, they're giving up common stock. And that common stock, there's 20,000 shares. And remember, we always record stock at its par value. So that's $20,000. Well, that entry doesn't balance. Corporation got $160,000, gave up stock for $20,000. Oh, but who comes to our rescue? Paid in capital or think pink for the difference. So the difference is $140,000. So this is the journal entry when the employee exercised their stock option, received stock, and the corporation got some cash.